Welcome to King Lizard on Xbox One with the awesome Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition. So this is the heist jewelry store. We're actually this is one of the earlier missions I played. I haven't had a chance to post it yet, so I'm kind of building up through. I've got lots of Payday 2 still to post. So this is actually a uh, normal difficulty mission when I was in my uh, level 20s, I think. So my colleagues kind of setting this security guard off, so I'm going to take him down. Get that pager. Oh no, my colleague's answering it. Okay, so I'll drop that. Do make sure that when you're dropping pages that the guy who's telling you to do it is really doing the pager because obviously if you both drop it, and I've seen it so many times in this game, everything turns to crap pretty quickly. So make sure there's good communication in your crew. If you can. Obviously if you're playing online without a headset and you just kind of jump in matches, that's going to be a bit hard. But So we're going to unlock this window because the guy at the desk opposite that doorway is seeing us, which is interesting because he's not even looking in our direction, but never mind. So we get ourselves in this way, and we're going to try and do this quiet today for a change, or at least try and get as much done as possible quietly before it all kicks off. Now, as I said, it is normal mode. We are generally lowish level characters in our level 20s. Um, at this level, I would quite happily tackle a hard or even a you know, a um, overkill, and I did. But this was one of the missions I did with some of my friends. Didn't want to play it as hard a level as me, so we jump in on the normal mode to get the mission done. Just get some brief bit of cash, a little bit of XP and stuff. Guaranteed cash and XP, of course. So a bit confused here because nothing's kicked off, and we've got this exclamation. Well, I've got this exclamation on my screen, so I think the game is either. Bug, uh, I think the game's bugged out basically and I think we're pretty much going to land up in a hot zone in a minute regardless of whether we've done it silently or not it is possible that maybe one of my colleagues got seen by a pedestrian or something when they're outside or I don't know I'm not I'm not convinced I think this has just kind of gone a bit buggy on us and now it's just going to kick off anyway so This is a dumpster there on the right. It's good for dumping bodies in if you're body bagging people. Do make sure you do it back up again. If you leave it open, the guards, if they're patrolling, can actually see corpses in there and they'll kick things off too. Get these guys down on the ground while we start to clean house. So at this point we've got three bags of loot to acquire. Now the loot is based around these bigger items, the tray items. And as this is a normal difficulty, it's probably going to be about four bags. Probably won't be able to get more than four bags out of this, I suspect. So there's two of them. There's a third. My colleague's just thrown I think I just saw. Yeah, there's a the colleague's doing a fourth one now. So that's probably going to be it on the back front. Maybe five, but I think it's four typically. No, there's going to be five. Okay, there's another one. So more things there. Right into the doorway there. We generally move them back into that corridor there because you've normally got a lot more heat. Obviously, at the front of the building, it makes more sense to go down one of the side alleys. Although, typically, that left hand side alley is the nastiest of the side alleys to go down because there generally will be a lot of police there. The right hand side is generally quite. Quiet, I find and it's generally the best option to escape you know 99% of the time from my experience I'm not going to hit him from here with this weapon Let's see if I can get this guy there we go he's down took a few shots though so we've cleaned out all the jewelry in there just have a quick peek back here make sure that's clear yep that's all good no safes or anything for me to blow Obviously I am an early level character here, I know I've posted videos with me being at a lot higher level. This is my very first jewellery store, I'm actually a level 20, I think about 27 or 28 here. So, we've got, looks like, five bags, 
or yeah, it looks like five or six actually. Colleagues carrying one there, I'm carrying one. We've got three on the ground. I don't know if my other colleagues are carrying. Police are getting quite active out the front here. We're just waiting for the van. The minute you peel off those free loot items that you need from the area you're in, the van will start making its way to you. Typically that's going to be around two minutes-ish thereabouts for this particular mission. So it's just a matter of surviving for those two minutes and then making a run, depending on which side he turns up. Now the van, from my experience, can be any one of four places. It can be in the original place where you're typically dropped off, which is that alley I'm pointing towards now. It can be to our right in the road, it can be to our left in the road, or it can be to our left and back in that direction over there, so near the corner of that particular building. So there's four possible spawn points that I know of and that I've seen. So it's turned up, it's turned up in the standard spot, which is pretty cool. Obviously we've had to, I've, I've run straight out the front and took a bit of damage on the old armour but I didn't actually take much in the way of damage myself. I'll give these guys a turret to play with, obviously as I'm lower level here, level 20, I've only got the one turret. And I can't have any mines because I was restricted back then, whereas obviously once you level your technician up, you can have mines and turrets, which you'll see me using a lot. Nice bit of shotgun action here, taking out the police so that my colleagues can get out of the bags. They decided to go the other route, obviously backfired on them because the uh, van turned up on the right side and not the left. Typically, more common than often, it is normally the left I find a lot of the time that it turns up. It likes to make your life that little bit hard or harder I should say. Lost my armour there big time. I need to get the cover here, regain my armour. Take that guy out there with a nice headshot. Get out and give these guys a hand with the bags here. Getting hit quite nastily here. Shit. I'm in big trouble. Big trouble. Let's get behind this car door. So that's going to save my bacon or not. Armour's rebuilt. Take this guy out, excellent. Make a run for it. Stash bag number two, and it goes. And there's bag number three. Plenty for Vlad. Is it enough for us? You'll call. So we've made the escape available now. I think it was six bags we got there. That's pretty good haul. For a low level. And then we go, so mission over. So I'll take this opportunity to thank you guys and gals for watching King Lizard's Game Lounge. I will be back with more Payday 2 Prime Wave Edition on Xbox One, plus plenty of other gaming action in the next few days. If you're not a subscriber, please feel free to click that sub button. Everyone's welcome. And please do remember to rate the video as well. 